Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can create the scatter plot matrix uh, within Plotly which is useful looking at uh, the cross section of multiple variables, their distribution as well as the summary of distribution by plotting the box plot. Well all of that it does in just one single chart so that you can make inferences from it from the data visualization. All right, so first thing is um, importing the libraries specific to uh, that are useful in scatter plot matrix. So we will import plotly dot figure underscore factory as ff, and we are going to use the numpy for creation of index values because the scatter plot does not take zero as part of it and creates an error. So we will create the index for it. Uh, I'll show you in a couple of minutes how you can do that. It's very easy. Um, first thing is we need to take orders data uh, and we need to take the columns on which we need to create the scatter plot matrix. So for that we will say orders dot loc to get all the values. So all the rows and columns that we want is basically sales um, profit and discount all right uh, once we have the data uh, we can go ahead and uh, start creating an index so we will say orders underscore data create index column and here we will going to use the numpy array so it is np dot a range starts with one and go to the orders data count which is orders data and add one that's it all right um now we can go ahead and uh, create the scatter plot matrix so we need to store it in a figure so that we can plot it our next uh next time so we will say fig equals to ff dot create create underscore scatter plot matrix all right uh, and uh, we need to specify the orders data and we need to specify some more parameters like values uh, the columns and the index so next is diox box there are multiple parameters you can actually go in and see it and we need index is index then you have color map is let's take portland you can see uh, its documentation for different types of color map. Color map type is that gray. And you can specify it height and width, which if I press shift tab tab, you will find that by default it is 500, 500. You can specify size, title, all of those things. But for now, I'll just leave it with default parameters. And I will now plot the scatter plot matrix or visualize it. So PYO dot plot. PYO is the library which I have been using it from last couple of videos. I have already imported it in one of the videos. If you have not seen the previous one, then it is nothing but the graph objects. So plotly graph objects F I P Y O P and then uh, PYO fig. Let's see this. will take some time to create the visualization and here we have the visualization so here this is basically if you see this is nothing but the box plot this is for the distribution of data and uh, for this is here you know profit versus discount sales versus discount how it is going similarly rest of the matrix and here you have the color scale basically telling you uh, what the color scale is and how the values are over here so that's that's how very quickly you can create a scatter plot matrix i've created a very simple one using three values you can make it more complex even you can have sales profit discount uh, by a dimension also so you can create that kind of uh, scatter plot matrix as well so that's pretty much it if you like the video uh, go ahead and hit the like button it gives me the encouragement to create more videos and 
get these videos in inbox go ahead and subscribe it